it's Julia. I just finished up a last minute Christmas gift. Now this person who is going to be receiving this loves to sew and she does a lot of cross stitch work and has little pieces of threads and her little projects and I made her this sewing themed pouch that says notions and things on it. I filmed the process and I hope you enjoy this. Let's get started. I have two pieces cut of my outer fabric, two of my lining, and then two warm and natural batting pieces cut um, just to give it a little bit of structure. I have my pieces cut at 8 inches by 10 inches and I'm using a 12 inch zipper. All sorts of little things that I've collected that I want to add to this. And I'm using the Tim Holtz die called the Sewing Room. It has a mannequin on it and just a lot of little sewing themed items. I'm a, couple spools of thread and, and that type of a thing. I'm using my warm and nat my excuse me, I'm using my heat and bond light and I'm and I'm and hearing some heat and bond light to the back of my pieces. I'm gonna be making some appliques. And these are the pieces I'll be running through my big big shot. This is gonna be the little outfit for the mannequin and this light brown color is going to be for the mannequin itself. And just laying these pieces over my die. I can use, I can get about four pieces of fabric or four layers cut with my Big Shot. And I'm just running the sandwich through. And then just picking out my pieces here. I have my front piece now and my batting. And that batting will be attached to the back side of my of my front piece. And then I have another piece of same fabric as my lining, but I want to add a little patch of that on the front here. And that's so that is what I did here. Just gonna have that flipped over and just cutting this just make everything even. This is the the play the area where I'm going to be adding my applique. I just wanted it to show up a little bit better, so I'm just doing a background of a, of this lighter lining fabric. Taking off that back uh, paper of that from that heat and bond light, and just fiddling around here, trying to get my design the way I want it laid out. This is just trial and error. Just dressing this little mannequin. I have this heart shaped. It's a vintage piece of. I just picked it up somewhere, um, but it's like a little doily or a little um, embroidered or, or crocheted piece. I got this, um, you, uh, excuse me, I got this tape measure at the thrift store, and I also got found this fabric, the outer fabric, on the, at the thrift store too. Always look in that that department when you're at the thrift store, because you never know what you're going to find. I really love these old um, tape measures that were in like promotional things um, and, and they're fabric so you can you can use them for your designs. I'm wrapping a piece of lace around one of those little fabric shaped spools and then using the other spool shaped and just wrapping some yarn around that one. Kind of fiddly, but I just I managed to get it down. Just wanting to add some little buttons down here too, and just stuck them down there to see what it's going to look like. Just kind of getting the composition the way I want it. And now it's time to to take the iron and um, get everything into place. I just purchased these. They're, they're, they're heat transferred fabric pens. They act very similar to the Frixon pens that I use a lot. 
Um, but supposedly these are um, for, formula for fabric. I'm just writing the words notions and things on here. I'll put the link down below for these pens. They are a little less, less expensive than the friction pens. Um, and they just easily erase if you don't quite have it the way you want it. I'm just going to rewrite the word things and move it down just a little bit. My, my fabric is still hot and so it's not wanting to, to go on there, but I, I did manage. I'm at my sewing machine now and I'm going to free motion this word, these words on. I have my feed dogs dropped. I'm just removing my, my thread end here. I have my feed dogs dropped and I have my free motion foot on. I have brown thread both in the top and the bottom. And we'll be just tracing um, this the outline of the words here, the notions and things. Now if you do happen to get off a little bit, that's what's so wonderful about these um, the heat erasable pens is you, you're just with an iron you can get rid of any of trace of that pen. And this dotting my I's and crossing my T's. I'm changing my thread now to a cream color thread on the top and my white bobbin. And just going to be getting the rest of this applique stitched down. Just going to randomly run my stitches around the edges. I am also catching in that tape measure. And then just getting the rest of this tape measure sewed, stitched down. I'm switching to my button sewing on foot. And we'll be sewing those little um, decorative buttons on this is one of my favorite my favorite ways to to sew on buttons i i use this all the time i like to add buttons i have so many of them that i've collected and i just really like adding them to my to my designs and there we go the front is all finished i'm just getting rid of any traces of that ink And now for the zipper. This is the easiest way to put in a zipper. And one of the reasons why and I like to have my zipper longer is you really can get rid of that bulky um, zipper pull. And you'll see here, the first step is, is to lay your zipper face down on, on top of your outer fabric. And then put the lining on top. And so your zipper is sandwiched in between the two pieces and I have that zipper on the on the left hand side just even with the outside of my my bag or my pouch I'm just getting a few clips in here 
I find that the wonder clips work really well for the zippers versus like a, like a pin. And now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to use my quarter inch um, foot. You can also use their zipper foot, but I do like the quarter inch uh, measurement on this. I do like a little bit of my zipper showing, so I'm not right up against the teeth. And notice how my, my, um, my foot is right on the edge. Very easy for me to um, just get a nice, nice stretch, nice even line there. Just going to finger press this down and top stitch this. It's all top stitch and one half of my, my pouch is, is on the zipper. And now for the other side, this is my, my, my outer fabric and it's got that batting on the back of it for the stabilizer. Opening my zipper here and getting everything lined up on the left. I'm putting a few of my clips in um, and then I will be adding my, my lining as well. You'll see it in here in a second. I like to get those clips on and, and then I'll just add the lining to the back. So again, my zipper is in between my outer and my lining and everything is, is lined up both on the top and on the left hand side there. And taking it to my sewing machine with my quarter inch zip from quarter inch foot again and then top stitch. Now this is the part that's important. You want to open up your zipper but you don't want that to be off the edge. That, that zipper pull has to be on the pouch. And you just grab those outer fabrics and line them up. And here on the zipper you want to have the zipper lining up and have those teeth facing the, the lining fabric. So the teeth are facing the lining fabric and I just stick a clip right there. And then I'll hop over to the other side and this on this side the zipper is going to be folded and those teeth are folded towards the lining fabric. And I'll put a clip in there. And when I actually take this to the sewing machine, I'm going to walk my sewing machine over this part of the zipper so I don't break a needle on those, on those teeth. Getting a few more clips in, just getting the lining all matched up. And the outer fabric all, all matched up. I'm going to mark an opening. You want to leave about a four inch opening on the lining and that's where you're going to start and finish and you just go all the way around and I do take a back stitch at the front and the back or the front and the ending there. Just doing my my trimming now I have my I use about a half inch seam allowance all the way around this and just trimming the corners getting my my fingers in here now all the way through the zipper and just bringing everything right side out I'm putting like a, to a pokey tool in here and just getting those corners and that's part of that zipper making sure that everything is is um, out and turned right I like to take my my fingers and roll the seams. And also put my my iron right in ironing that lining. We still have a hole in the lining, so I'm pulling that back out. And I will be just folding this under. I just use my sewing machine for this and just top stitch a seam right on that lining. And there it is. Everything is done. I made two of them. One's going to be in my Etsy store. Thank you so much everybody for, for joining me. Um, I have a few pictures here too of you can see. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye for now.